Hi folks, just want to give you a brief overview of the new Add Track button in Sonar. As you can see, it is right up here in the upper left corner of the track view. If I want to widen or tighten the track pane here, you'll see it'll collapse down into a little plus sign button. Either way, it's always going to be there in the upper left corner. It's really convenient how quickly you can just make a track by clicking this button, click create, boom, I've got a track, I'm ready to go. If I want to create a track that is record enabled and input monitored right off the bat, all I have to do is check these two boxes here, click create, and you'll see that this track already has its record button turned on and the input echo is listening as well. You may have noticed that it automatically routes to your first stereo input. Obviously we can change that here in this input picker right at the top and choose any of your mono or stereo inputs from your hardware. It'll also automatically route your track to the master output, but we can change that here in the advanced section. We can choose any existing bus or we can create a new one here. If you want to create a folder to say categorize tracks or you know just clean up your workflow a little bit, you can do this here as well. And when you create the track, it will automatically put it in the folder. And of course, you don't have to add just one track at a time. You can add many. Just use the little arrow keys down here or type in the number and click create. And pretty quickly, you're going to have all of your tracks. There you go. Before I finish my sentence, 99 tracks ready to go. And now over to the MIDI side of things here, we have the instrument tab. By default, it's going to insert a TTS-1, but you can choose any synth you have installed by manufacturer here. Obviously choose MIDI only if you want to route to an external synth, but I'll go ahead and choose Rapture Pro. And you'll see some familiar things here. Your input picker is going to obviously allow you to choose your MIDI input. You'll have hardware listed here if you have any hooked up, and if not, you can choose the virtual controller, which I will open with this button here. That's the on-screen keyboard that you can use to type or click in your notes. You remember record enable, which does the same thing on the instrument side as it does the audio side. Down here in advanced, you can create a folder, again, to categorize your tracks and choose your output. And what split instrument track does is it creates a separate MIDI track that routes into your actual synth track. And then you'll have this drop down here to choose either the main stereo outputs of the synth or if it has multiple outputs, all of the stereo or all of the mono outputs. So very useful tool to get you up and running faster than ever. You can create tracks in an instant and start recording right away.